hello guys today I'm going to start making a tutorial on how to make a 2D side scroller or platformer or whatever and um, let's get to it oh by the way the tutorial will be in C sharp so I'm sorry if you program in JavaScript because I don't know a lot about it okay so let's get started first off we're gonna create our project in 2D okay by the way if you are a, a total beginner or are not really familiarized with unity yet I don't know if this tutorial is really for you because I don't know if I can explain things really well okay so first off we're gonna have to import our sprites and then they are in this folder you can also get them yourself they are the link for it is in the description so go get them now as you can see these tiles are if I import them they are really small because I made them in Photoshop uh, with 20 by 20 pixels and then they're really small and we don't want them to be like this right we want them to be separated so let's do that so click on the tiles sprite and where it says single sprite you change it to multiple and let's go on to the sprite editor and where it says slice go on to grid and if you imported this if you have the same files than I then change it to 20 by 20 because that's what I made them and that's how I know which they, which their size the pivot point can be in the middle and apply now uh, because they are pixel art you want to change this from bilinear to point so that it gets more precise and this compressed to true color to make it because sometimes if it's uncompressed the colors get all wrong oh and also you want to change these pixels to units to 20 so that, so that each 20 pixels equal one unit which means that each block will occupy one unit hit apply and now if you drag a block into here you can and put it for example at zero zero you can see that it occupies one unit you can also put it in here it's, it's exactly one unit and um, okay but right now we're not going to take care about that about building the level right now we're going to take care about the collisions so stretch up the block any of these blocks doesn't matter, really matter and add a collider to it so add component physics 2d box collider and our block has a collider which is represented by this green line as you can see over here now of course we need a player and then um, to the player we're gonna have to to do the same process that we made for the block so where it says single we put it multiple from bilinear to point compressed to true color and pixels to units can be uh, it can be also better. Now let's sprite. Let's edit the sprites. Now, is, now these sprites are not 20 by 20 because if I slice them, you can see that they are not 20 by 20. They are actually um, 10 by 15, if I recall. Yes. And now each of these images is a frame. Apply. And now we have our little Indian dude. Now, I think this is the one, this one is the idle pose, so let's put it there by now, for now. Okay, now we have our dude right there. Let's make it uh, interact with the ambient. ambient. So instead of using a box collider, because it sometimes I try this once and sometimes it gets stuck on the edges, 
for example if there was another block like over here sometimes it would collide and not go to the other side so instead of making a, a box collider this make a circle collider circle and of course you're gonna have to change the radius a bit and the offset the center offset a bit lower so that it lines with the feet and now to end this tutorial today simply add a rigid body to d so that it can move around and uh, fix the angle and now if we hit play our indian can now, can now interact with the tile now that's it for today uh, in the next tutorial i'll be making the player move around to the sides see ya